We all know the current mining craze is getting a little bit out of hand and has been playing a big part in the current GPU shortage. To be honest, the whole industry is in a bit of a crap situation at the moment. And that is where Chia comes in, but not for the right reasons. But Andy, can it make things even worse? Oh, you bet it can, little Timmy. You bet it can. Let's do this. Andy, what are you watching? It's, uh, it's, it's not what you think. Wow, it's so big. Why, well, thank you. It's the new AOC AG493 UCX. 49 inches of pure performance and a refresh rate of 120 hertz. It's so fast. You can even do two at a time. What? You can connect two devices at a time and split the screen. With FreeSync Premium Pro, a 32 to 9 aspect ratio and a built-in KVM, you'll be finished in no time. Gaming, I mean. What, what did you think I mean? Get your mind out the gutter and click the link in the description to find out more. So before I go into it all, if you want the too long didn't watch version, it's not worth it. But it doesn't just end there. So if you want to know a bit more, then keep watching. If not, feel free to leave me a like on the way out and well, thanks for your time. So if you've been living under a rock, cryptocurrency mining can be done with graphics cards. And as mining becomes more profitable, it also makes GPUs harder to find and to buy. Currently prices for GPUs are way, way, way above their MSRP with no kind of real end in sight on the short term. Miners are buying them as they can get their ROI or return on investment quite quickly from them with the current profitability. While there are also scalpers and other factors to the GPU shortage, we're going to stick with blaming the dirty miners for this video. Now, if you want to find out more about kind of the other reasons behind why there's so, you know, few stock of GPUs, then check out the video we did about the GPU stock shortage, The Real Story. We're linked to it in the description below. So back to mining. Now, originally GPUs were once used to mine Bitcoin, but as the difficulty of mining got harder, the introduction of ASICs came in. And now, well, you can't even mine Bitcoin with GPUs as it's just not profitable anymore. So kind of what happened after this? Well, there was Litecoin and other smaller coins, and now we have Ethereum, which is currently more times than not the most profitable coin to mine. There are loads of different cryptocurrency coins out there that can be mined, but we just don't have enough time to go over all of them here and now. Now, there once was a time where mining these different coins with your GPU took a fair bit of time and hassle just to kind of get things set up with all the different config files and whatnot, you know, all them other little bits and bobs that you had to do. Now, this mainly depended on the hardware you were using, AMD, Nvidia, AMD, Intel. However, now we have software like NiceHash, which makes it kind of seamlessly easy. And in turn, they take a small percentage of your mining profits for giving you that ease of use, meaning you can get up and running, frankly, in no time at all. Now looking forward, and the coin of choice when it comes to mining is Ethereum. And this is actually meant to fork and switch to Ethereum 2.0 sometimes towards the end of the year, meaning like Bitcoin, it won't be mineable or profitable with GPUs. There will always be kind of another coin that people can mine with their GPUs to make some money, but what other options do miners have at the moment? Well, with GPUs becoming harder and harder to find due to the current situation in the mining world, and Ethereum, well, due to becoming non-mineable in the near future, what will actually happen? Well, this is where Chia comes in to royally f things up. Chia is a cryptocurrency coin with a difference, as instead of using your GPU, it's mined with spare storage space on your system. Currently, all you need is a system with an SSD and a hard drive, and well, that's it. You'll be plotting farms, as they call it, a little bit weird, in no time at all. But it's not that simple, is it? It all sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? I mean, what even is spare or unused storage space? Surely they didn't talk to any PC gamers before coming up with such terminology, especially those who play Call of Duty with its huge file size and constant huge updates. Well, how it works is by utilizing your SSD to create your plots. You can plot straight to separate hard drives in parallel as well, which is one of the better options, but this actually requires a better multi-threaded CPU, more memory, and overall a more powerful system. However, even Chia themselves recommend that you use data center grade or enterprise grade NVMe drives, and that you shouldn't use your boot drive for plotting as it can quickly cause drive failure, especially on everyday consumer grade drives. Now, the easiest way to get started is using Chia's own software, which makes it very easy to just get set up and running. When you open it up, it will connect you to your wallet and ask you to either create a new private key, import a key from mnemonics, or delete all keys. 
If you've not done it before, you can create a new private key, which will show you 24 words, which will come in a certain order. Now you'll wanna remember these, as this is the only way you can actually recover your wallet should anything happen like, I don't know, um, drive failure. Now, once you've done this, it will load the main screen, which allows you to view the full node and your wallets, plots, farms, and even switch between your keys. From here, you can sort your plots and get farming. It's really that simple. So now that we all kind of have a little bit of an understanding into it all, is Chia actually viable? Can you make money from it like you could with GPUs? Or, you know, what's the deal? Well, if you're just getting started, it isn't gonna be cheap because if you want the best chance at being able to mine Chia, you will firstly need a decent system. Using the Chia calculator based on having a two terabyte NVMe drive, such as the Kioxia Xeria Plus that I've got here, dedicated for plotting Chia, you'd be looking at around an estimated cost of $1,360, according to what they recommend for the whole system. And that's based on an Intel Nook with 32 gig of sodium memory. Now remember, this is just to actually get you up and running in the first place. It also states you'll be making a whopping <clears throat> $101.72 per month, based on this setup. Now what it doesn't tell you is that Chia will likely rip through your drive's TBW, or terabytes written, quite quickly. While it does say right on the Chia site to use enterprise grade drives, most users, well, they won't have these, or they'll be more expensive than they wanna spend. So while they have a higher TBW, they also cost more upfront. To put it into some kind of perspective, the Kioxia Xeria Plus 2 terabyte here has a TBW of 800 terabytes, meaning a two terabyte Xeria Plus would hit its rated TBW in about 160 days or just over five months. In all honesty, the drive will probably fail before or around this point, and then you'd have to buy a new one as the manufacturer isn't gonna replace it if you've hit the TBW point, regardless of your two, three or five year warranty. So that's another added expense onto what is already an expensive um, hobby. When it all comes down to it, Chia could also become completely worthless tomorrow as a coin. And even if it doesn't, it still isn't really worth mining for most standard users. For Chia to be properly profitable, you'd need a couple of rigs going and you'd also need for the price to shoot up quite a bit. Now, while one coin is worth around $1,353 at the time of filming, it actually takes so long to actually win that, well, there's just too many variables to deem it profitable for most people. It's also worth mentioning that as more time goes on, the difficulty will go up, just like we saw with Bitcoin and like we're seeing happening with Ethereum. So it could in fact take you even longer to mine and then add extra expenses into the fold. So, yeah, basically with our scenario, the amount you'd make wouldn't even cover the cost of the drive once it fails, unless it goes up dramatically. And that's a risk that only you can decide if you wanna make. Overall, on the face of it, Chia, it's not worth it. Unless you're willing to hedge your bets that it will go up, and you're willing to take the risk that it could, could plummet tomorrow. Meaning all you've done is degraded your shiny NVMe drive for, well, for nothing. So what was the point of this video? Well, quite simply, there's a very, very big point to take away from all of this. And that is NVMe drives, hard drives, and frankly, all drives could go up in price because of Chia. So while at the moment building that shiny new rig of yours is made difficult by the price of GPUs, it's sadly only gonna get worse as the price of drives could just add into the mix. Sorry guys, but that's the cold hard facts. And I'll be honest, I agree with you guys. It sucks, it's terrible at the moment. So all I'd say right now is that if you're looking at buying a new drive, I'd probably look to do it sooner rather than later. Sources even close to us are saying that shortages are coming and prices are already starting to be increased in the supply chain. So act fast, I guess, is the best advice I can give you. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below about kind of the whole sorry state of affairs, not just for GPUs, but now for drives as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know exactly what to do and I'll see you in the next one. See you later guys. Bye bye.